So one question I hear a lot is, oh my god, you're only traveling with a small backpack? How do you do that? I would never be able to fit all my clothes in it. Well, I'm a minimalist traveler. I only travel with a small hand luggage size backpack for months. And I only give myself the allowance to fill one small packing cube with clothes. So my trick on how I'm able to do this is that I have to do laundry a lot, regularly. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks how I do that and a few tools that I bring along to make my life a little bit more easier. And maybe you get a few ideas so you can make your traveling life easier as well and downsize your clothes a little bit. So my first tip is to pick the right type of clothes. I usually like to stick to kind of more quick drying clothes and I'm also a big fan of merino wool because it smells less and it dries very quickly even when you're in a warm and very humid climate. If you can avoid it, try to leave clothes that take forever to dry at home, for example jeans. I'm guilty of traveling with jeans just because I really like it very much, but when I wash them I have to kind of calculate the drying time accordingly. So tip number two is about washing. I know that you could, for example, use a hotel laundry service, but I personally think they're a little bit overpriced unless you really have a nice shirt that you need ironed, which the type of clothes that I wear is usually not worth it. Or you can also go to a laundromat, but I don't travel with enough clothes to really fill up one load. So what I like to do instead is to wash my clothes in the sink of the hotel room. So more often than not, you will run into a little problem because many hotels, they remove their sink stoppers. And that's why I like to travel with my own sink stopper. And that's something very cheap. I just made myself. I just cut a little circle out of one of those uh, reusable silicone baking mats. And I just put it in the sink and it works very, very well. And it's very cheap, it's very lightweight and it is not really adding much bulk to my small bag. So now if the sink is very small or I'm about to make a big mess, then what I like to do is fill up my clothing bag. The clothing bag I travel with is this one. It's from a brand called Sea to Summit and it's actually a dry bag, but it's very lightweight and very small. And I actually use this as my clothing bag. And if I need to do laundry, I just fill it with water and then add my clothes and the detergent and then just give it a good massage and rinse it out. So this also works like a charm for me. So next let's talk about the detergent. There is a little travel size detergent available, but I usually don't like to travel with that because since I travel hand luggage only, I have to take care of my fluid limits. So I usually don't travel with things like this, but there are solid alternatives. I know some people that just fill some washing powder into a Ziploc bag and take this along, but what I personally like to use is little sheets. They're from a brand called Seed to Summit that obviously I use a lot. And you just um, dissolve one of those sheets together with your laundry and this is a detergent. And this is great because it does not count towards your liquids. And another thing I use is I hope you will recognize this from my toiletries video that I did. What I have in here is just a soap, the baby soap from Dr. Bronner's. And I use it to wash my face, my body, but I also use it to wash laundry. So this is a great thing for me as well. And the last part of the process is the drying part. And what I like to use is just use the hangers that are in the hotel room and just hang up my clothes there. That usually works very, very well, especially when you have quick drying clothes. Most of them just dry overnight and you have no problem there. Another thing I always have with me because it does not add much weight and bulk to my bag is one of those small clotheslines. It's also by a brand called Sea to Summit, which obviously I use a lot, but I'm not sponsored by them. So I just really like their stuff. And this clothesline is awesome when there is no hangers available or you are somewhere outdoors and you want to hang up your things. And they are very great, especially in combination with a hero clip, especially when you want to hook it indoors or like in my example here, when the clothesline is a little bit too short. 
And you actually know that is love when your partner does not mind sleeping underneath your socks and your underwear because the hotel room was so small that I had to hang my clothes line through the middle of the room. So it's a good relationship test right there. So if you are thinking of making your life easier and traveling more lightly, then I can only recommend you to plan ahead when doing the laundry. For example, pick the right type of clothes and bring some tools with you, just like a sink stopper and some detergent. This will actually save you a lot of time and a lot of money. With the right tools, it's actually very easy to do your laundry on the road and I got very used to just regularly do my laundry this way. So my wish for you is that you never run out of clean underwear and clean socks and I see you in the next video. Bye!